Hi everyone, it's Sandra here. Welcome to the first episode of The Big Picture, where I can tell you just a little bit about what we are all working on as a district. Before we get into that though, I wanna take a quick minute to share a story from this past week. I had the opportunity to visit the mountain schools and an adorable little child came up to me, a little girl, and stood right in front of me and just looked at me. And I said, hello. And she said, hi. And I said, what's your name? And she told me her name. And then she said, I came to your office. And I said, you did? When did you come to my office? And she said, uh, art. I think she was quite nervous. <laughs> so she was one of the award winners for the superintendent's art show last year. And she was very excited to see me again. And I actually had a chance to see her in her art class while I was visiting. So thanks to her amazing art teacher and the staff at the schools that is just one amazing example of how we help children do more than they could ever imagine that they could do. So let's talk about a few organizational priorities. Let's talk a little bit about the achievement gap about our kids who typically do not do work at grade level. I know that everyone is passionate about this work. I am too, and I know that everyone's working very hard to help these students. We're working on a new way to identify them all um, so that principals and staff from school to school can interact with each other more effectively since we'll be looking at the same data together. So we want to flow supports to students as you have been doing and also do it in a way that shares best practices so that when one school has success we'll have the opportunity to share it with their colleagues. Um, you'll be hearing much more from your principal throughout the year about what this will look like in your building. And last, graduation requirements. This fall, we're continuing our work to revise PSD's graduation requirement policy. We're doing this because there's a new state law that's trying to bring some uniformity to the meaning of a high school diploma in Colorado. That means the state has set benchmarks that we have to meet, including some standardized test scores and some other methods that students can use if they don't meet those test score cutoffs. So for secondary staff, you're going to be seeing some changes coming forward, possibly uh, even with what we offer in coursework, and this will be for the ninth grade class that's starting in 1718. Secondary principals, you'll be hearing much more about this throughout the year at staff meetings and through your principal. So thanks for taking a few minutes to learn a little bit more about what we all are working on, and I look forward to sharing more with you as the year progresses. <music>